Hello guys, in this tutorial I'll be teaching you how to connect the SQLite uh, database SQLite uh, database to uh, SQL Server SQLite database is basically the mobile database that is used by the mobile system you know and in the applications, the apps and the mobiles if they are storing data to the database they usually use the SQLite database and sometimes like you want to extract the data out of, out of there and you know load it to some other and a convenient database uh, like uh, SQL Server so that you can uh, use the data and you know, play with the data over there so first what you have to do is uh, uh, download the SQLite ODBC driver so do google it and you'll get to the link over there and there are two options um, you what, what, it, what it does is it will just you know uh, download the SQLite uh, driver and you, know, you can use that SQLite uh, ODBC driver for to, to the to connect to the SQL server so you have two options one is 32 bit and one is for 64 bit uh, depending upon what operating system you are working on you can download either one of them and since mine is 64 bit I have downloaded the 64 bit version so after that uh, uh, you can create a SQLite database so that you know you can test it with the SQL server for that what I'll do is you know open the uh, SQLite 3 over there and create a my new database my SQLite DB something like that so this will, this, will, this will create the database for me let me check uh, databases available in there right now there is no table so we need to create a table create table my table id int uh, name text variable hope you already know this syntax and i have to insert some data in there Something like that. So just the test for for the test purpose. Let me see if, if there are data in there. Right there. So we have data in there. So what I have want to do is you know um, the pull this data of the SQLite to the SQL Server. So uh, since we have a, I have created the SQLite table or uh, database. So First, I have to configure the ODBC driver for this. Uh, select the Windows R uh, run command and write the ODBC AD32 in there and click OK. It will bring me to this window. User DSN and the system DSN. Go to the system DSN, click add button in there. Uh, SQLite 3 ODBC driver. That, that is what we need click and select that one and click finish now I have to configure the data source name for this I'll like the SQLite uh, 3 data source something like that and select the, the database that we created in this instance we created my we created my SQLite database so I select that one click open click OK now I have already you know managed the DSN for the uh, SQLite I'm ready to uh, connect my SQL server to the SQLite so I'll, I'll open the SQLite in there and what I'll do is let me delete all this before I'll show you how to do it okay let me create a new SQL uh, link server so what I, what we will be trying to do is we'll be creating a link server so it'll be easy to you know write the queries off of it and load it to the table in the SQL server so I'll do right click uh, link server link new link server then write some something like my SQLite in the server tab I'll be selecting other uh, data source in the provider I'll be selecting uh, Microsoft ODB provider for ODB C drivers uh, in the data source I'll be writing the same name that we created earlier in the uh, ODBC DSN 
uh, actually I believe it is SQLite uh, 3 data source let me double check SQLite 3 data source okay we are good click OK now I have created the link server for that database so I can do the query out of it uh, open query MySQLite and I can select from the table my table from there here you go we have the data being selected uh, I'm able to select the data from the SQLite using the link server now you can also copy the data to the SQL server itself uh, from uh, into my SQLite table or something like that from the same code up there okay this will create a new table in SQL server then I can just select all from the this same table now I, I'm not using any you know link server to select the data if I select the data in there now you will see data is being copied to the SQL server table and I'm able to uh, query of the data so this is a simple tutorial you know to connect to the my SQLite sorry SQLite uh, mobile database server mobile database uh, so uh, it is extremely useful to you know copy the copy the data that you have in the mobile system you know the apps being you know using and you know move the data to the SQL server so i hope you guys find this tutorial very helpful and if you have any more questions you now you can just um, comment down below and i will uh, answer it as soon as possible thanks guys